Hey everyone, it's Dr. Charlotte Hodges and I am out for a quick stroll. I had a case, as you can tell I'm in my scrubs, and um, I have some meetings. Um, ooh, all the dogs. Where are they? They're on can camera. So anyway, I have a couple of meetings, so I thought I'd squeeze in just a quick walk. And you know, what I love about my walks is besides getting out and getting exercise and moving, it's also my private time to listen to all my great podcasts. And I'm going to put a link to one of the um, guest speakers. I found um, a podcast because I had to change my, um, my podcast site. And it is called, I think it's called like 10 Minute Body or 15 Minute Body or I can't remember. I'll put it down in the, in the show notes though. And the speaker that he had on was speaking specifically to how do you get long-term success? And really he talked about it being consistency, doing the same thing over and over and over. And you know, I couldn't agree more. So many times I have told my patients that um, it's not the big things that you do every now and then, but it's really all the little things that you do on a daily basis that have the biggest impact. And that has been so apparent during the COVID lockdown. You know, have people been grazing a little bit more? Yes. But what's really plummeted is um, how much people have been moving. And so if you're eating at this level, which is about the same, maybe a little bit higher, but now your energy is way low, then you're definitely going to have an energy surplus. And it's not because you're eating vastly more, it's because you're moving so much less. And that is a big change from um, things that people would do in the past. And what do I mean by big change? Well, typically people, you, you wake up, you get in your car, you go to work, you walk up the stairs, park your car, go get your groceries. We've never really thought of those as being really big things. It's just something that we did on a regular basis. Well, since COVID, a lot of people no longer do that. They sit at home because they work from home. They order their groceries. You kind of get the picture. And so I feel like COVID has really been able to be, um, it's really been able to shine a big light on the importance of consistency and how doing things or not doing things on a regular basis can really have a powerful impact on our outcomes. And so when I was listening to this podcast, one of the things that um, the speaker discussed is trying to do what he called vital behaviors. And like I said, I'm gonna post his vital behaviors and his email on the show notes. And I agree with these. Um, I think for my patient population, um, I think kind of tweaking those a little bit um, might be a little helpful. But he said every day he does 10 things. And he does that. And then the other thing that he said that he does is whenever he's, when he first started off and he was trying to figure out what are my vital things that I need to do? He first said, think about in the last six months, what is something, or maybe in the last couple of years, what is something that you work towards that you are success? And then what is something that you work towards, but it was a failure? And it doesn't necessarily mean anything that has to do with your weight. It could be maybe you were studying for an exam or maybe um, you were working on a project. And he said whenever he looked back on his life, at different aspects of his life, like from a personal relationship, from physical, from professional, he said, what made the difference between my successes and failures were the times that I was most successful as I just didn't stop doing what I was doing and I didn't stop working towards my goal. He said, so the biggest thing about consistency is stop stopping. I love that. I feel like that needs to be on a bumper sticker. 
if people still use bumper stickers. Um, but stop stopping. Stop stopping the things that you know are working. It is worth it. You need to do the, you need to do all these little things on a daily basis. That is how you begin to build consistency. So he said, first of all, look back and see what were things in your life that you did that seemed to work. And then that can help you kind of pick up some of your own personal um, vital habits. But he gave a list, and so you absolutely could incorporate them. But the three things that I actually really like that I think would be helpful in that literally you could do these on a daily basis and I can definitely see um, how you could have long-term success with this. The first thing he said is automate your eating. And he said automate the, his timing. So now this guy likes to do intermittent fasting. If you like to do intermittent fasting, you certainly can. But I think what I really liked about that vital habit number one is that when you pre-plan or already have set out what you're gonna eat and when you're gonna eat, you're gonna be less apt to fail. I mean, I can tell, I mean, no, that's not gonna happen 100% of the time, but I will tell you, the times that I do not stick with my diet are the times whenever I haven't gone grocery shopping or I haven't, um, I don't have any leftovers or I just haven't really thought about when I'm gonna eat and then I run to the grocery store and I'm hungry and I end up buying a rotisserie chicken and then something sweet. So, and that's like, that's not ideal, you know? And so I really like that vital habit of on a daily basis, consistently kind of automating your eating habits. So for instance, like I know whenever I go to the hospital, I literally eat the same thing every day. I have a piece of their grilled chicken and then I have um, a couple of bites of their pecan pie. And then that gets me right around 300 to 350 calories. Um, I'm sure I could save calories if I didn't eat the pecan pie, but oh my God, it's so good. So, but I would suggest, whew, automate your eating. That's number one. And automate your, um, the timing of when you eat. So try not to skip meals. The next um, habit that he recommended was um, logging all your information. And we definitely have um, studies that show that if you routinely log your success, patients will have longer term success. Um, so whether that means logging your foods on a daily basis or, um, oops, sorry, or um, weighing yourself once a week, but keeping a log of that, that will help keep you on track. And whenever you start to see things begin to slide one way or the other, um, you'll be able to get uh, more back up. You'll be able to get back on track more easily. So automate your eating and um, log all your success. And then the third thing that I really liked is he said, walk. He also talked about just doing a 10 minute workout, but every day. But what I really liked is whenever he said, get out and walk. Now, clearly I'm the biggest proponent for walking, but you know, whenever I go to my conferences and we talk about the plight of obesity in America, they'll always show a map of America and um, all the different states and who have the uh, highest incidence of obesity. And it's interesting, whenever I think of the states that prototypically it's where people are out outside more, they're out walking more. Those, um, those states also seem to have um, a lower overall BMI. I know like I have everybody on my mom's side, they're all from Canada. And they, um, uh, they're all from Canada and they literally walk everywhere. And I mean, are there obese patients that are there in Canada? Yes, but it's, um, I can tell you that the number is certainly not as high as it is here in Texas. And that is partly due to the fact that everybody walks. We even have two, um, two ladies that are in um, the moms of kids in my daughter's class and they both move from up north. And we were all joking because they still, they'll take their carriages out and they're walking all around. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're gonna get run over. You better be careful because nobody here walks. And so um, 
he said, try to get in your 10,000 steps. And I thought that that was um, really, really good information because I think it also ties into what I was talking about earlier whenever people were staying home because of COVID and you just weren't moving at all. That had a profound effect, a profound negative effect on patients' weight. So I would encourage you guys to look back and look and see, are there any vital behaviors that you can make so that you can be a success? You do not have to have an exhausted list. That was the last um, little piece of advice that he gave. He said, just do one thing at a time. Don't make five or six different changes and say, I'm gonna do them all at once. Don't do that. You're not gonna stick with it. Just like I tell my patients initially, they're setting the alarms and they're taking their vitamins two, three, four times a day. I'm like the novelty of that is gonna wear off really quick. So take it once or twice a day, you'll be golden. Because start to think about, are these habits, are these things that I can do, not just right now, but will I be wanting to do them five years from now, 10 years from now? And so um, I think by kind of paring down your list and just try not to bite off more you can chew, so to speak, and be realistic with your goals, um, but more than anything, be consistent. So I would say schedule your eating, don't forget to log and don't forget to walk. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. Even if you can just out, go out and move just a little bit. Today, I would have loved to um, walk three to four miles, but I barely did two. That's okay. Something's better than nothing. So get on out there and best of luck.